Hello, first grade friends. It's Mrs. Davis here with your Patterns of Power grammar lesson for today. Today is Friday, May 14th. We will continue to work on exclamation marks today. We're actually going to review all of our punctuation marks. So remember, for exclamation marks, our goal this week has been I use exclamation marks to show shouting or strong feelings, just like Miss Davis's little cartoon over here saying Happy Friday some strong feelings about Friday. Remember exclamation marks or exclamation point are used at the end of a sentence to show emotion or excitement. Our mentor sentence this week from the book Children Make Terrible Pets by Peter Brown. Mom, look what I found outside. I call him Squeaker because he makes funny sounds. All right, my friends, today you can practice using the correct punctuation mark at the end of sentences by playing the boom cards linked below. I know we, that we have used these before. Now Miss Davis has unlocked all of the cards for us. So you can practice all of your punctuation marks, telling sentences, exclamation exciting sentences, and asking sentences. Do your best. Let's take a look at a couple together. All right, so we'll read the sentence and then select the correct punctuation mark. She shouted, I don't want to go to bed. Ooh, shouted is a good clue here, friends. What punctuation mark belongs at the end of the sentence? A period, an exclamation mark, or a question mark? She shouted, I don't want to go to bed. Oh, remember our exclamation mark is for shouting or strong feelings. Next sentence, the girl has a little orange cat. Hmm, what kind of sentence? What kind of punctuation do we need? The girl has a little orange cat. Well, I don't think there's strong feelings there. I don't think I'm asking because I don't see any question words. So I think I'm gonna go with a period for this sentence. Yay. I am so glad my baby sister is finally here. Oh, let's stop and think. What punctuation mark belongs at the end of the sentence? Period for telling, exclamation mark for strong feelings, or a question mark for asking. Hmm, we're definitely not asking. This sounds like some news that might be exciting or have strong emotions. So I'm gonna go with exclamation mark for strong feelings. All right, last one together. Why is your friend crying? Oh, poor friend. What punctuation mark belongs at the end of the sentence? The period for telling sentence, exclamation mark for strong emotions or shouting, or a question mark for asking. Mm. Why is your friend crying? Oh, I spot a question word. That one will be our question mark. All right, my friends, we're going to stop there. So you still have some more boom cards to work on. Miss Davis will leave the rest of those for you to practice your punctuation mark today. So remember, friends, this week we've talked about exclamation marks. Remember, you can help your reader by using exclamation marks at the end of your exciting sentences. Woo! Have a wonderful weekend, friends. I'll see you next week. Bye.